morning guys I have to refilm it because <laughs> I was filming with a panty in the back again oh my god I really have to get used to uh, uh, to check the background before I start filming anyway good morning to you guys today is yet another bright day in Beijing it's getting cooler right now I'm so excited I can wear my leather jacket outside only for a while probably because it's probably gonna get hotter during the daytime but anyway I'm just enjoying it until then today we have a lot of things to do we have to go to the visa to pick up my visa and my passport so I can you know be a person again and go traveling I'm very excited for that um, <clears throat> then we have to go to the bank to set up a bank account so I can go shopping on Taobao also very important and then we'll go back to campus for school so we have a lot of things to do I hope you guys are ready to come with me and let's go we talked about the Danish style before today very very Danish as well we got the white shoes we got the black pants we got the black shirt with white stripes and my leather jacket and then my really cool glasses you can see yourself I feel like such a cool person breakfast for everyone here whatever you feel like and it's really cheap breakfast it's between four and uh, six cry for a meal well it's not really a meal it's just more as you know a fast snack but it's really nice um, and yeah now I'm working towards sorry <laughs> Now I'm walking towards uh, the subway station and I'm walking right now on the grass <coughs> because everyone's walking the opposite direction and because the tuk-tuks uh, are driving on the sidewalk and they drive really really fast so I'm a little nervous about them a few uh, a few days ago when I was walking here I was like almost getting I was almost hit by one like nothing happened but it just scared the shit out of me you know so right now I'm just walking here on the side to make sure that I won't get hit but right now it's not rush hour I think many people already left for work so that's a good thing <laughs> right now it's pretty good though you have to look out for bikes of course oh the tuk-tuks are out there so when the traffic is uh, running the tuk-tuks are driving on the road but when the traffic is bad they're gonna drive in here so right now you see um, this one is a little Actually, a public bus going back and forth uh, from our park, our media park, to the subway. You see, so the thing is, like, it's really hard for the, um, like, you cannot, you cannot drive on the right side because then he can't, because our university park is on this side, so he can't get. If he's driving on the other side, opposite side, it's impossible to cross unless he's gonna drive across the bridge, which he, ca which he cannot because it's made for pedestrians. Um, so they're actually forced to drive either on the sidewalk or opposite the traffic the whole way from the subway station and to here. Um, not very convenient, I would say, but you know, whatever works. Wanna show you how beautiful the sky is today. I think it's around 18 degrees right now. So comfortable and almost arriving at the subway station you see the traffic here is really heavy so many people so many cars so yeah why is he oh he put up his stall on in under the <laughs> under the bus stop <laughs> I love how creative these people are. It's crazy. Just watching a little bit of TV while I am walking and enjoying the beautiful weather today. Walking towards the visa office, it's such a nice feeling to not be in a hurry. Just walk, not run. Just get a stamp, but then because I paid, and I'm gonna go and get the passport from the other cashier. Yay, it's done and now I can stay in China for a year without problems. Yippee! I couldn't resist a kitty bow <laughs> in 7-Eleven. Um, I think I talked about this one before. It's just so cute and it only costs four kwai and inside there is some like yellow cream. It's a cheap masterpiece I would say. <laughs> So just have to wait now, she took a um, copy of my passport and now just waiting. Just an advice from somebody <clears throat> who's doing it way too often. Never go to places like this 
when you're hungry, always bring something to eat because it will usually take forever. Just like today. Okay guys, so I will just let you in on what happened. When you're going to uh, start a, uh, open up a bank account in China, you have to be prepared. They usually don't speak uh, English. Like if you go in a really, in Beijing and go for the Beijing bank, uh, no, not Beijing bank, sorry. If you go for the Bank of China, you might find somebody who speaks English, but this one, no. Um, so basically, I go in there and I say, Kai Hu To, like I want to open a bank account and you have to bring your passport and then I get a number, so I'm waiting for my number. And then <clears throat> I go to the, what do you call that? The bank attendant, bank lady. And uh, she takes my, uh, um, she takes my passport and she asks uh, where I'm from and my name and then I have to uh, say that like I have to check if she wrote the right name because it's very important um, and she will write all my information down and then it's for free so basically I just give her my phone number and then she will fix the rest and then she just gave me the bank card and yeah that's really cool I also ask for uh, the what is that called the phone uh, like so I can use it on my phone as well and she said yeah you can just download the app and then you can do it now so yeah that's it I'm now a, a bank member of construction bank China Yay! Wow okay so this morning has just been super super efficient like really um, I got up at 8 o'clock I fixed my makeup and my hair if you can if you can call this fixed hair, I don't, I don't know, whatever. Um, then I went out, I went with the metro, I went to the visa office, I paid, I got my visa, my passport, took the metro back, took a bus, uh, got some food, find the bank, found the bank, opened the bank account. Now I'm walking back to the dorm. Okay. Now I'm walking back to the dorm and then I will get my stuff for class and I will go to the other campus but first I have to go to uh, the international office to hand in my uh, bank account information so I can that's why I'm a little doughty I'm a little uh, what's that in a rush because the salary not the salary like the scholarship uh, money is gonna come soon so they need my information I think they tried to call me already uh, so sorry for that but so that's why I have to go and give it to them before class because after class they're probably not already you know off work so yeah just trying to fix everything in one day <laughs> but it's going it's very going very well until now so that's a good thing Going to class with everyone else right now. Uh, just about to be late, so I had to take a cab here. I usually don't do that, but it was just a little last minute. <laughs> but I'm here. Oh my god, <gasps> so cute! Oh, <laughs> yep. Dogs are pets here in Beijing. Remember that? They don't eat them, they just play with them. Yes, and arrived ready to go for my second class with this teacher. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, so I'm back in my room finally. Oh my god, such a long day. <laughs> After class, I was hanging out with my friend. Uh, so basically, my classmate, it was a coincidence, I think. 
I have one friend and my classmate is also friends with that girl and then I was invited to have dinner with my Chinese friend and then my classmate was like oh yeah I'm coming too and I was like that's really cool so we were six girls together I didn't know the other girls apart from my classmate and this Chinese friend so but anyway we all went out for dinner together and it was so much fun so interesting you know like these Chinese girls they just had a beer and talk trash talk you know it's just really cool um, two girls from Taiwan actually really interesting um, it's yeah it's just really cool to mix and match people from different places and just explore new things and talk about new things and it's just or I talk about the old things but in a new way you know so it's really cool we had the hot pot from Chongqing in Sichuan province and they were so nice we had one that was spicy and one that wasn't spicy because I said I cannot deal with the spicy so sorry for that um, after beer and hot pot we said goodbye and now I just bike back to my dorm I'm exhausted I'm so excited for my bed right at this moment now I just took off my shoes and yeah did I tell you that I went to the international office and I got fixed my um, bank account information and I really hope the money is gonna come soon so yeah and uh, tomorrow is last class before the Chinese Golden Week uh, holiday so yeah holiday again just after the mid-autumn festival <laughs> it's just holiday two classes and holiday and two classes and then you know holiday again it's almost you know it's almost Christmas now <laughs> Just having a, a girl's night trying to play with hair, which is really <laughs> difficult because the hair is so slippery. Oh my god, but so long. It but feels good. This is the first time we're gonna do a... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a... Yeah. What, what is the name? A Chloe, Chloe, uh, Chloe Kardashian uh, haircut. Yeah, I'm gonna be... Melina Kardashian. Yeah, <laughs> Melina Kardashian. I like how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this vlog and I hope you're having a great day or evening wherever you are. And I'll see you soon again. Ling Ling is out. See ya and 再见. Mwah.